Well, we are still with the dogs and there are giraffe up ahead as well. So we're gonna have wild dogs and giraffe in the same sighting in about two seconds. Here we go, how's that? Wild dogs and a giraffe at Treehouse Dam. Here are the giraffe watching the wild dogs. Now, of course, the dogs don't really pose a threat to giraffe, they're too big. That is very cool, Dave. So cool, I think I have to. Take a few snapshots. I also just want to get some pictures of the alpha pair that I can send them through to my friend Grant who works for EWT and uh, well, Endangered Wildlife Trust and he monitors all the dog packs in this part of the world and uh, if doing that then I can actually find out exactly which pack this is. I'm pretty sure it is the Investec, I'm um, not the Investec, the, um, so the Sands pack. Oh look at that. As you can see, the giraffe aren't too perturbed. Hey, puppies. Okay, there's a spot. I'm just trying to think where I can get around ahead of them um, again. Now, the young ones might show quite a bit of interest just for fun. Oh, no, they're going to run past, and the giraffe started feeding again, not perturbed at all. Well, there's another dog still coming through here. Oh, there we go, some puppies, some of the young ones are heading towards the, the giraffe. <laughs> Wait, let me just get out into the open. The giraffe might actually try to kick them. Now, they might have a go at the, if the baby was a bit younger. Look at them, they're just playing. Look at the tails up. <laughs> Clowns. Let's just go a bit further forward where we can get through the bush. Here we go. Now, if that giraffe baby was a little bit younger, they might think about it, but I think that baby's too old now. And they're just playing. Now, of course, a giraffe is a pretty scary animal and can break a lion's jaw. So imagine what it could do to something as slightly built as a wild dog. Oh, coming right next to us again, popping around. The rest of the pack are up ahead, scent marking. Oh, it was so close, Dave couldn't see it. So the rest of the pack up ahead, scent marking. Now, the one thing I love as well is that every time they find a hyena latrine, they have to scent mark on top of it. Now, the whole pack will scent mark, not just the alpha pair. Uh, Dave was wondering why is it that the alpha pair is the only ones that mate. Well, a very, very important reason, they have got such a high mortality rate that it takes the whole pack uh, to bring up a group of puppies. So they're, they're all needed in, in terms of care of the young. Oh, if they're off, they're on the move again. Hello, puppies. So happy. <laughs> dogs, 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 dogs everywhere. I'm going to try to get up around ahead of them. Take a short cut. Now, hold on. We don't want to lose Dave or Rollo. We've nearly lost Rollo once already today, I think, when I did a sharp turn to get ahead of the dogs last time. Yeah, did they go across? Oh, there they come. Okay, so Painted Wolf would like to know how far they're from their normal home range. This falls within their normal home range. It's sort of the boundary between them and the Investec pack. So here we go, they're running down the road towards us.
Let's see if they go past us again. They should do. I'm hoping they stick on the road because the block to the, the west of us is very, very thick. There we go, coming up to us. So I said, this looks like the alpha pair in front of us here. And I just want to get some ID shots for Grant, just so I can double check which ones there are. So he's got a very distinct scar on his mouth. Darn it, I had the camera settings on wrong. Anyway. Another wound. Now that's not uncommon. Uh oh. What have they seen? What have they seen? That looks, that's like they've seen a, a stenbok or something. You see them leaping up like that, trying to look into the grass to possible prey. But only one took off. Oh dear, if they, if they go in here, it's trouble to stay with them. We'll stick with the dogs we can see. They, they, I can see tails up. They're after something in the, in the distance there. And I'm just seeing this white tail, and that's why they've got that white tip on the tail, popping out over the long grass. No, sorry, I'm just concentrating. So some of them have rushed off. The alpha pair is still here. So we're going to stick with the alpha pair for now. now. I just keep seeing like tips of the tails popping out. Could be a scrub hare, and we all know what happens to poor scrub hares with wild dogs. Uh, they're gone in less than two seconds. Okay, I'm just going to move off to the side and let Abel go in front for a bit. Hello pups, it's a very distinct scar, and it's healing quite well. You can see him there, they're looking for the rest of the pack. There's another one coming back in from behind us. Orb, some of them went more to the northwest into that block between Savages and Treehouse Dam Road, but there's still quite a few. If you just come on that southern road from Treehouse Dam, they're still on the Ntlela. Sorry. So he looks like quite an old dog. He's lots of battle wounds. Uh, Shelly would like to know if two packs come across each other, will they fight? Yes, they will. Um, and they have even been known to uh, kill each other. Both the alpha pair here look quite old. So probably five, six years old. Oh, here we go. Hello, puppy. Sorry, Dave, is my head again. There's a coming in right next to us. Oh dear, they're going into this block. This is a very difficult area, to, especially with this long grass. There's more running off here. Uh, oh dear, me. Oh, oh. I'm going to be able to get through here. Um, I'm just trying to see where there's a way through. I don't think I'm going to fit through between the fallen logs here. 